Hi everybody, it's spring with such and such and such, and what am I doing today? Well, if you watched the, the update video on the swarm lure I made, um, you'll see that we did have some lookers, we did not have any takers. Well, I was not happy with the scent of the lure itself. Now, the texture, in my opinion, is perfect. It's mirable, and I can actually, you know, I can get it out of here like this. So, but I felt like uh, when I first initially put it onto the frames, I could smell just a smidge. And I do understand that bees probably have a whole lot better smell than we do. Good possibility. I don't know for sure. But uh, with that being said... Now, whenever I smell of it, it's as if my essential oil has kind of took leave. Uh, that can happen. And um, so, I'm going to give this a different approach. I'm not going to reheat this. In other words, I am going to scoop all of this out of all of the containers, put it back into my pot. Not going to reheat it down. Then I'm going to add my essential oils. And uh, I'll bring you back when I get ready to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and be putting them in here like so. And I know that would be a little bit boring for you to have to sit here and watch. So I will bring you back. Okay, what would I do differently? I would not change the ratio of beeswax to olive oil. Because this is a perfect smearable sap. It smears perfectly. And the thing that I would do differently, I would pour it as I poured it in the last video. But I would not add my essential oils. I would not pour it into my containers I was going to leave it in. I would just take some old container that I did not care about and pour it in it, let it cool off. And then I would mix it like so and then add essential oils. Now, sometimes when you pour essential oils into warm oils, your essential oil can evaporate, um, you know, and you can lose your scent. I've dealt with making salves for a very long time using essential oils and using essential oils in making soap, um, creams, lotions, and believe me, if you don't have them temperature temperatures just right, you'll lose the scent. Um, some people think, you know, that when you make soap, that um, the essential oil doesn't survive the saponification. Excuse me. Um, and then others, you know, believe that it does. Now, I've made plenty of uh, soaps with essential oils, and they have a wonderful scent. Um, I'm not sure you know, on that question, you know, but getting back to this, um, we're going to add some more essential oils. Now, if you haven't made this, you might want to wait because I'm going to do another update. Now, we did have some lookers, like I said, so it may have been fine the way it was, but I wasn't happy with it. But this time, I'm adding the essential oil to it cool. That's going to make the difference. The aniseed oil. And you have to remember, this is a lot, quite a bit of salve. Um, start out with five. Because if you smelled aniseed oil, it is rather pure. A scent. And I don't want that much, I mean... I don't want it to overpower my lemongrass. So we will be putting more lemongrass than aniseed. And then I'm just stirring it up. <clears throat> and the more you stir it, you could get the lumps out if you have lumps. But, you know... This is the way I see that's best to not lose your scent of your 
essential oil. I'm give it a sniff. Smell the aniseed. Now we need to go with our lemongrass. And I'm going to up that. We do not, even though we have lemongrass essential oil in here from where we made it, you can't smell it. So, I'm treating it as if it has none because there is definitely no scent there. Okay, we put 20 drops. Give it a stir. is still overpowering the lemongrass and this is a large amount of salve so I'm gonna go with 10 more and see how how that puts us Ten more. And you might say that's a load of essential oil. Well, not really in this amount of sap. That is really not that much. I just got to have it come above the aniseed oil because I don't want the anise to overpower over top of the lemongrass. I want the lemongrass to be a little bit over top of the anise. And anise is very strong. I'm still not happy with it. And we'll go with 10 more. And I think that'll have it. You had an old whisk, and you could use that to do this. That's it. It's not too strong, it's just right. And the anise is not over top of my lemongrass. I think that smells perfect. So I'm going to leave it at that. I think that's perfect. So if you didn't check out the first video of me actually making this, check it out uh, because you'll want to go on that recipe now you can leave out your essential oils because like I said I'm pretty much sure most of that burn off because it went somewhere um, so you can leave out the essential oils and then just let it set up in a container of some sort and then stir it down then add your essential oils 
but we will try this and I will let you know how it goes if we get anywhere with this one because it's basically the same recipe just adding the essential oils a little bit differently and I hope you enjoyed the video now all I'm gonna do is put it back into the containers and I won't bore you with that and I hope you enjoyed the video have a great day and thanks for watching remember to subscribe so you can see every time I upload and if you want to see the outcome on this